shepherds came to see the baby stood by his mother's side. He led the Savior inside the manger. Oh, what a glorious night! Oh, what a glorious night! I hear the angels singing, Hallelujah! Let the earth receive her King. I know that love has come. Sing it out, Jesus Christ is born. Jesus Christ is born. The shepherds wondered, they couldn't hide it. Told everyone inside. St. Oldham's. Very happy Christmas. Very happy Christmas to you. That's all part of the welcoming liturgy of this service. And that's it. <laughs> <laughs> now, a very, very warm welcome to you here in St. Oldham's. A very, very warm welcome to you if you're watching online or even watching this service later on. Um, we'd love to hear from you. There is a, an email address that can come up on the screen very, very shortly. There it is, office at radipal.church. If you've got an inquiry, like to make a connection with us, please send us an email. Um, there's also a website that we've just recently launched, and there it is on the screen as well. We are going to share in the, um, an act of communion today for Christmas Day. And um, that will come quite early on in the service. And then as we've shared communion, we will then move into a worship party, which we're going to enjoy. We will. We will. Okay. <laughs> you will. <laughs> Some people have made a real effort today. Anyone would think it was Christmas. Look at you. All your jumpers. And um, some of you are wearing hats and things as well. Things. Now, the person I was going to point out has actually just left the room. So that's no use, really. If she comes back, I'll point it out. Can you work out, question for you, quiz number one, although it's not part of Laura's quiz, what we're short of in the vicarage? No, actually, no, no. Somebody's got a twitchy finger here. <laughs> <laughs> for the on button. Anybody work out? Well, yes. 
absolutely. You see, there's a, a theme going in the male side of the household here. If you spot those two jumpers there and this one, competition time. Who ate all the mince pies? Was it you? No. I don't like mince pies, actually. <laughs> That's what not to say at the front of church. Was it you? Okay, culprits over there. <laughs> it wasn't you. You don't like raisins. <laughs> there are some fantastic jumpers here. If you want to stand up and give us a twirl so that everybody can see your jumper, feel free. Val's got a great hat on over there. Joe had a crown on earlier. You've taken it off, Joe. And Michaela, is that a Christmas decoration on? That's fab. Wonderful. There we go. Give them all a clap. There's some yeah, fantastic... They need to stand up, actually. The Christmas jumper brigade. All of them. All of them. Come on, stand up. <laughs> mm. Just to prove it. And then you can clap yourself I, for making an effort. Look at me. I think Joel, Joel and Mike at the back, sparkly jumpers. They are clearly the joint winners this year. Hey. Hey. Is it the same jumper? No, not quite. <laughs> and if you're wearing a jumper at home or a Christmas onesie or a Christmas whatever we can't see, then pat your back as well. Well done. Today is Christmas Day. We get to light the fifth candle of our Advent ring. And I'm going to invite Sarah to come up and light the candles for us. <laughs> Panic not. All of them. All five, please. And while she's doing that, let's pray. God our Father, today the Saviour is born, and those who live in darkness are seeing a great light. Help us who greet the birth of Christ with joy to live in the light of your Son and to share the good news of your love. We ask this through Jesus Christ, the light who has come into the world. Amen. Lord Jesus, light of light, you have come among us. Help us who live by your light to shine as lights in your world. Glory to God in the highest. Amen. Thank you, Sarah. We're now going to stand and we're going to sing that wonderful carol, O Come, All Ye Faithful. And uh, with this carol, we're able to sing the last verse as we come into Christmas Day. So please stand, as, if you're able to, to join in with this opening carol.
going to remain standing. One of the, the songs, Christmas songs, that we've been singing at our Breakfast at Nine congregation is Let the Angels Sing. And it's going to come up on the screen. Um, there are two youthful ladies there who will guide you in all the actions you need to bring to this song. And, uh, uh, yeah, please, please join in as much as you can. Let the angels sing. It's coming up on the screen. and you've got to try and make your puzzle, okay? Don't hurt each other, it's okay. Right, <laughs> I'm scared to be in the middle. Okay, we have just sung a carol, O Come All You Faithful, and we sang four verses. But how many verses were originally written? You can ask your team, but you can't ask that. <laughs> you can ask your team for help. Don't ask the band. Would you reckon? Yeah, I know, but not for this question, not that. <laughs> Do 
This is according to Google, so <laughs> just saying. <laughs> what Google says goes. <laughs> okay, what would you like to say? Uh, seven. You're going with seven, and what would you like to say? It's going different to seven. You can choose what you, whatever you think. But yes, please. <laughs> we'll go eight. And the answer is eight. <laughs> Would you like to choose the proper piece? I'm sorry. <laughs> it's okay though. <laughs> it's not. It is okay. Okay. Well done. Very good. One nil. Oh, here we go. <laughs> okay. Question two. We know that Mary and Joseph travelled a long way from Nazareth to Bethlehem. How many miles is it from Nazareth to Bethlehem? Close this one wins. <laughs> Good answer. <laughs> Lots. <laughs> By what Google says, Patch. <laughs> the first answer it gave me. Well done, Alex. We're doing well here. We're in the lead. Ra round two comes later. As I said earlier, we're, we're going to come into uh, a time when we celebrate the purpose and the mission of the baby Jesus. And that is to come and save and rescue us, to come and be with us. And we celebrate that in our communion this morning. So what we do now is that we come to a time of a prayer of confession and then we will celebrate communion. God so loved the world that he gave his only son, Jesus Christ, to save us from our sins, to be our advocate in heaven and to bring us to eternal life. Let us confess our sins in penitence and faith, firmly resolved to keep God's commandments and to live in love and peace with all. Let's pray together. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, we have sinned against you and against our neighbour in thought and word and deed, through negligence, through weakness, through our own deliberate fault. We are truly sorry and repent of all our sins. 
for the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, who died for us. Forgive us all that is past and grant that we may serve you in newness of life to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, who forgives all who truly repent, have mercy upon us, pardon and deliver us from all our sins, confirm and strengthen us in all goodness, and keep us in life eternal through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. going to share the peace and uh, just share the peace as comfortably as you feel like. Be sensitive to one another, uh, particularly as we're still in COVID times. Some people would love the hug, some people would just like to speak the peace from a distance. But here's the introduction to the peace. Please would you stand? We are the body of Christ. In the one spirit, we were all baptized into one body. Let us then pursue all that makes for peace and builds up our common life. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And also with you. Let us offer one another a sign of God's peace. It is always right to give you thanks, God our Creator, loving and faithful, holy and strong. You made us and the whole universe and filled your world with life. Holy, holy, holy. You sent your Son to live among us, Jesus our Saviour, Mary's child. He suffered on the cross. He died to save us from our sins. He rose in glory from the dead. Holy, holy, holy. You send your spirit to bring new life to the world and clothe us with power from on high. And so we join the angels to celebrate and sing. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Father, on the night before he died, Jesus shared a meal with his friends. He took bread and thanked you. He broke it and gave it to them, saying, Take and eat. This is my body given for you. Do this to remember me. After the meal, Jesus took the cup of wine. He thanked you and gave it to them, saying, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood, the new promise of God's unfailing love. Do this to remember me. Jesus Christ has died. Jesus Christ has died. Jesus Christ is risen. Jesus Christ is risen. Jesus Christ will come again. Jesus Christ will come again. Father, as we bring this bread and wine and remember his death and resurrection, send your Holy Spirit that we who share these gifts 
may be fed by Christ's body and blood. Amen. 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 Pour your spirit on us that we may love one another, work for the healing of the earth, and share the good news of Jesus as we wait for his coming in glory. Amen. 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 For honor and praise belong to you, Father, with Jesus your Son and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen, amen, amen. As we stand, we say together the Lord's Prayer. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Please be seated. As we come to our communion table this morning, of course all of you are most welcome to come to Jesus' table. We have begun the practice, or we have uh, resumed the practice of sharing from the common cup. But if you would prefer not to share from the common cup, wafers will be available and we can dip the wafer into the wine if you would prefer that. Bread and wine are available, gluten-free wafers are available as well. So please indicate as you come to share in communion how you wish to receive the bread and the wine. Draw near with faith. The table is ready and Jesus invites you now. The music group will come first of all up through the middle. <coughs> the day the angel came, it seemed that everything had changed. The only certain thing was the child that moved within. On the road that would not end, winding down to Bethlehem. So far away from
Just a blanket on the floor Or the vacant cattle store But the child was born She held him in her arms And as she laid him down to sleep She wondered, will it always be? So bitter and so sweet She watched him through the years. Her joy was mingled with her tears. She'd feel it all again, the glory and the shame. And when the miracles began, she wondered, who is this man? What kind of greatness can there 
Yes, it's the reading next. Thank you, Jane. <laughs> A long time ago, we know that. The reading is from Luke chapter 2, verses 1 to 15. In those days, Caesar Augustus issued a decree that a census should be taken of the entire Roman world. This was the first census that took place while Quirinius was governor of Syria, and everyone went to their own town to register. So Joseph also went up from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea, to Bethlehem, the town of David, because he belonged to the house and line of David. He went there to register with Mary, who was pledged to be married to him and was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for the baby to be born, and she gave birth to her firstborn, a son. She wrapped him in cloths and placed him in a manger, because there was no guest room available for them. And there were shepherds living out in the fields nearby, keeping watch over their flocks at night. An angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid. I bring you good news that will cause great joy for all the people. Today, in the town of David, a Saviour has been born to you. He is the Messiah, the Lord. 
This will be a sign to you. You will find a baby wrapped in cloths and lying in a manger. Suddenly, a great company of heavenly hosts appeared with the angel, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven, and on earth peace to those on whom his favour rests. When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let's go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened, which the Lord has told us about. Are we ready for round two of the quiz? Can I have Alex and Joe back, please? Give them a clap. Well done. <laughs> Can I just say that Alex has not seen these questions? I just want to make that very clear. <laughs> okay, right. The next question, I'm going to ask this team first, I think. Is that right? Yeah. Okay, um, so a popular Christmas carol is a little town of Bethlehem, but... What is the population of Bethlehem now, approximately, <laughs> to the nearest thousand? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I have. <laughs> what are you going to go for? Ask your teams. Okay, I'm going to have to take your answers now. <laughs> Alex, your team, please. Uh, 20,000. 20, okay, Joe. <laughs> 21. 21, okay. <laughs> and the answer is... 25,000. <laughs> that was all you. <laughs> okay, well done. Seventy six pieces. <laughs> all right. Okay, next question. The longest carol is called The 179 Days of Christmas. How long would it take to sing it all to the nearest hour? <laughs> He's going to sing it. <laughs> Joe, you're on your own. <laughs> okay. Joe, I need your answer. Five. Okay, five hours. What do we think over here? Six. Oh, man. Okay. <clears throat> and the answer is nine hours. <laughs> Okay, last question. A random question. What is the highest grossing Christmas film of all time? <laughs> Just a few more seconds. I know this is very tense. This is very stressful right now. Okay, we're leaving the stage now. 
If Google was going on back there, then. <laughs> okay, I'm going to come to you first, Alex. What are you going to go for? Home Alone. Okay. I, no. <laughs> Elf? I'll let you know that you're both wrong, so if you want to have one more guess, <laughs> that's fine. <laughs> okay, you guys are going for White Christmas. Okay, great film. I have to say, the answer is... The Grinch. <laughs> so let's see. Three pieces over here. Sorry. Two pieces over here. You guys are the winners. Well done, well done, well done. Any presents, Laura? Presents? There's half a church here waiting for presents. <laughs> Who's opened presents already this morning? Hands up there, hands up there. <laughs> One little boy there's had a whole bucket load of them, haven't you? What was your favourite? Your new red tractor and trailer. That makes about 51 of them he's got so far then. Tra tractors, that is. Someone loves tractors. Anybody else had presents? What are you showing, Miriam? You've had your stockings. What did you get? <laughs> Is that out of a word of knowledge? Do you know something, Andy, or are you just... Some socks. Yeah, I'm trying to see them, but they're covered over with your boots. Are they fancy Christmas socks or just bamboo socks? Who would have thought? Bamboo. Socks made out of bamboo, I guess. Have you opened anything, Nick? No, I didn't get any presents this morning. But, but, little secret. The mountain under our tree is that big. There might just be one or two there for you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> You're so kind. Mm, so kind. Well, Christmas is full of surprises. Um, some of the answers to Laura's quiz, full of surprises. I think we need verification on some of those. <laughs> but I, I suppose really when, when we always think about Christmas, we're thinking about actually God's surprise for us all. Now I've got some presents here actually that need to be opened. And someone who is young or young at heart can come forward and open this first one. Come on, Andy. Yeah, this one here. Come up and uh, with your many gifts and talents, you can open that present. I could ask you whether you are an unfolder or whether you are a ripper or are you a tearer. <laughs> yeah, okay. Right, op open up and see what you've got. <laughs> ah. Okay, Andy, your challenge is to go and do something really good with it. Earlier in the year, the bishop gave me £10, and we did something right, quite good with it, didn't we? Yeah. And, uh, so you've got to go and take that £5, either give it away or do something very, very good for the kingdom of God with it. Okay? All right, Andy. While, while you give this opportunity, I need a driver for page two for the shuttle of Germany with the Ukrainian evening. <laughs> 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 
There was me thinking I would get through a service without any notices. <laughs> Thank you, Andy. But, you know, actually receiving a surprise £5 note is not even anything to c- compare with what God did on that first Christmas when he surprised this world. You see, if I can have picture number one, please, Stephen, or whoever it is. You see, Joseph and Mary came and they brought into this world Jesus, the Messiah, the Son of God. Born into a stable, not a palace. Born into poverty, not into riches. And as a baby who is dependent, as a baby who is vulnerable, a baby who needed human parents to look after him. Jesus, the baby, cried and relied totally on his mum and dad for food, shelter and care. Just like we did as babies. How surprising is that? That is one huge surprise from God. Well, there's another present to open. Ted, come on, come on, Ted. Come with Uncle Patch. All right. <laughs> He's ripping it open. Come on, rip it, rip it. <laughs> will it, will it, what will it be? What will it be? Shake it. Mm. Oh, a chocolate coin. Whoa. Right, here it is. And this is completely out of order in my talk. But anyway, here is... (laughs) This is what it gets like on Christmas Day. So, a chocolate coin that represents the kind of treasures that the wise men brought to Jesus. I'll get you afterwards. (laughs) But it's ultimately a surprise. You see, the wise men brought gifts, frankincense, gold frankincense and myrrh. And those were gifts which... described, actually, what Jesus' mission would be, that he would come to be a king, he would come to die, he would come to rescue each one of us if we accept his gift of life. So there's the gold coin. Now, who knows what the next one would be? (laughs) Anyone else coming forward? Ian, come on. This is entirely made for you. (laughs) Yeah, it's not a toy motorbike. (laughs) I haven't got a clue now what, what this is going to hold. It's a carrot. (laughs) Oh, isn't that nice? Ian's got a a toy sheep. (laughs) It's been taken from our Duplo set. (laughs) A toy sheep. Of course, that's going to be a reminder of that part of the story when shepherds came and visited Jesus at the stable. Picture number two, please. (laughs) You see, the shepherds, poor things, were absolutely terrified. Terrified when the angels appeared to them. Shepherds, 
were pretty dirty people. They were out on the margins of society. But actually, it was, it was them that God chose to come and witness this first Christmas event. Ultimately, very surprising. Very surprising indeed. And it was the shepherds who actually went out and shared the brilliant and superb news, the good news that Christ was born. Who would have picked shepherds but God? Shepherds who just rejoiced in their simple way, but they celebrated and told people about the wonderful gift of Jesus. Last one to open. I'm going to open it then. (laughs) Young people. Joe, come on, Joe, Joe, come on, yeah. This is the one to open. So. Right, rip it open, rip it open. Oh, right. Okay. I don't think this is going to be... It's just straw, isn't it? It's just... Just straw. Well... Yeah, it should go in there, shouldn't it? Do you want to put it in there? That would be fantastic. All right, Joe. And... Um, We've had the wise men, which should have come last. (laughs) Now we've got the reference to the shepherds. Picture number three won't show any shepherds arriving. Picture number three doesn't show any manger. Well, it does actually. Picture three shows actually that the wise men coming far from the east with their gifts came to the manger stall, the animal's feeding trough. They presented these gifts, these strange, mysterious gifts, to Jesus the King. Jesus is the one who saves. Jesus, our rescuer. May you, this Christmas, receive this wonderful gift of Jesus, who brings peace to this world, if the world would recognize him, but certainly to each one of us, a gift that is beyond compare. Amen. Let's stand. We're going to sing our response and praise God.
service comes to an end today. A very happy Christmas to everyone here. A very happy Christmas to those of you who are watching online today. And uh, we pray God's peace and God's comfort and his joy draws alongside you. And so we come to the final blessing for Christmas Day. May the joy of the angels, the eagerness of the shepherds, the perseverance of the wise men, the obedience of Joseph and Mary, and the peace of the Christ child be yours this Christmas. The blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be upon you and remain with you always. Amen. As we draw to the conclusion of this service, we're going to sing that carol, Joy to the World.